Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at the Sakhir Air Base the French ambassador to Bahrain, Cécile Longy. During the meeting, His Majesty the King expressed his thanks and appreciation to France for its significant participation in the fifth edition of the Bahrain International Air Show, which reflects the close historic ties between the two countries. His Majesty hailed the advanced levels of bilateral relations and the development it continues to witness in all fields in a manner that serves joint aspirations. His Majesty also expressed his appreciation to the French President Emmanuel Macron for his keen interest to further advance relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain, noting in this regard the active role of France and its contributions to the international community in maintaining security, stability and peace on both the regional and international levels. For her part, the French ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his efforts in reinforcing the Bahraini-French relations in various fields. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday at Sakhir Air Base the International Equestrian Federation President Ingmar De Vos and the accompanying delegation visiting to attend the International Federation General Assembly meeting hosted in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the Equestrian Federation President wishing him and the participants in the meeting success in serving the equestrian sport. His Majesty praised the continuous efforts of the President to promote equestrian sport and to support the programs and activities of the International Federation to organize the various tournaments that have contributed to achieving great successes in the sport. He highlighted the successes and achievements of Bahrain in the equestrian sport field at the regional and international levels through its participation in the various races, organization of several international tournaments, which strengthened the status of the sport in the kingdom. His Majesty the King pointed out that the kingdom is one of the countries that has the finest purebred Arabian horses and registered in the Wahoo organization, adding that the equestrian sport is very popular among the people of Bahrain. His Majesty expressed Bahrain's keenness to further strengthen cooperation and partnership with the International Equestrian Federation to serve the world-renowned sport. He also stressed the important role played by the equestrian sport in enhancing the friendly relations among the countries wishing the President success. For his part, the President of the Bahrain International Equestrian Federation expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his warm welcome during the visit, praising the efforts of Bahrain under His Majesty the King's leadership and the interest in developing and supporting equestrian sports. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Air Base the head of innovation at SAP Africa, Dr. Adriana Marais, currently visiting the kingdom to attend the Bahrain International Air Show. His Majesty welcomed Dr. Adriana, thanking her for attending the air show, hailing her efforts in the scientific and technological fields, as well as her keenness to acquire expertise, knowledge, and modern technologies. His Majesty the King affirmed the importance of the air show since its beginning and the wide participation of major Arab and international companies in various civil and military fields, which reflects the continued success in enhancing Bahrain's position on the World Aviation Fairs map. Dr. Adriana Marais expressed her thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome, praising the success of the air show by attracting a large number of international companies and exhibitors. Also, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Air Base the Vice President of Customer Requirements and Lockheed Martin, Gary North, Senior Military Advisor, Andrew Bilford, and the CEO of Leonardo Company, Alessandro Profumo, Regional Sales Manager of Leonardo, Tim Wood, the CEO of Bell Company, Mitch Schneider, and the Director General of Bell Company, Samir Rahman on the occasion of their participation in the Bahrain International Air Show 2018. His Majesty the King welcomed the Presidents and hailed their participation in the air show, which reflects the development of economic and investment relations between Bahrain and the companies and the consecutive successes of the air show since its launch, as well as the wide participation of companies and world institutions related to military and civil aviation. He wished them success in the event. The guest expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome hailing the efforts the Kingdom has exerted in organizing the air show and the success it achieved in attracting more world companies and exhibitors. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today held a telephone call with his Kuwaiti counterpart, His Highness Sheikh Jabir al Mubarak Al Hamad Al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister inquired during the call about the state of Kuwait, its brotherly people following the rains that hit the country recently and resulted in floods and damages in some 
areas. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister lauded the tremendous efforts exerted by the Kuwaiti government, led by His Highness Sheikh Jaber and all its bodies and departments to deal with the effects of the rain and to ensure the safety of the citizens and residents. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect Kuwait and its people under the leadership of its Emir, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Sabah. His Honor Sheikh Jabir Limbarak expressed his deepest thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his genuine feelings that reflect the depth of the fraternal relations between the two countries and their people. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to preserve Bahrain and its people under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, wishing His Royal Highness the Prime Minister abundant health and happiness. In the presence of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the International Conference on the Role of Women's Political Participation in Achieving Developmental Justice held in the Kingdom concluded yesterday with the participation of leaders, officials and academic experts from inside and outside Bahrain. The participants affirmed the keenness of Her Royal Highness to attend all the conference's events and sessions and to follow up on the discussions with the speakers and the participants, which affirms the seriousness of the political will in the Kingdom in the field of supporting women and the keenness on intensifying their participation in all fields, particularly political work. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halal Ansari, presented a, fu a future vision from many pillars of a number of women affairs around the world. She also asserted the necessity for reconsidering the suggested temporary measures. She stressed the importance of monitoring the nature of transitions of national mechanisms to support women, noting that mechanisms require constant development in the Arab region. Mrs. Al Ansari affirmed the importance of providing platforms to exchange points of view and experiences between countries in the field of supporting women to accelerate achieving the support dev level desired.
The second and last day of the fourth international conference on the role of women's political participation in achieving development justice, practical experiments and future aspirations comes to celebrate women's contributions in both the municipal and legislative work. The conference focused on the international progress made by women's participation at the political field and the nature of opportunities accelerating from this participation. I feel very happy and I feel very comfortable because every woman we discuss together and we feel the same. It is really important for us to, to discuss and to help ourselves to, to start in politics because I'm very new in politics and to help also all other women. The society is made with 50% uh, of women and I, I think we, we need women in politics and we need women in economics and we need women in any field to, to be able to for the success of, of the society. I'm incredibly honored to be a part of this. I'm so happy that the Kingdom of Bahrain is the place where this is starting, that this international conference is taking place here, because I think it's very fitting that it's happening here, because as we know, Bahrain is the vanguard for women's rights in this region, and especially in our national action charter, it's enshrined within it that women should have a say, they should have a right, we should support their rights, and they should be very heavily involved in political affairs. Um, and it's giving them a space and I'm very happy that it's happening here. The event brought together a number of keynote speakers to discuss important issues such as investing in fair and equitable societies, renewed role of societies and development justice and future aspirations. Look, society's mainly focus should be how to manage risk and develop resilience and through empowering women you achieve these two main objectives. And I think Bahrain is doing a great job in that regard. For the last two decades, since the launch of the uh, reform uh, initiative by His Majesty, we saw the developments concretely on education, on health, on employment, on contribution into political and social life. And this is a great example in how women contribute when they are entitled, empowered, and mainly educated. Investing in the future, investing in human resources, uh, go through investing in uh, women capabilities. So empowerment is a key word. And uh, the issue is how to uh, plan and implement programs uh, focusing on empowering women, uh, both in the economic sector and the public and the political sector. So our programs in the Arab Women Organization uh, are focusing on these two main issues. The Supreme Council for Women exerts continuous efforts in the area of policy making and legislative framework, as well as following up on the implementation of gender-specific plans aimed at achieving gender balance at the national level. The conference shows the important role of women in all fields and their great contributions to the society of Bahrain, especially through their political participation and decision making. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was keen on supporting the mixed martial arts national team players in the fourth day competitions of the World Championship of Amateurs MMA, which is considered one of the largest sports events in Asia, represented in Brave International Combat Week, held in the Kingdom under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King, for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stated that he has watched the fights of the Bahraini team with all the world fighters which reflected their abilities and potentials. He noted that the championship in its fourth day embodied His Highness's aspirations.
On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the reception held by Lockheed Martin to mark the 30th anniversary of its part partnership with the Bahrain Defense Force coinciding with the Bahrain International Air Show 2018. During the reception, Sheikh Isa bin Salman praised the cooperation between Bahrain and Lockheed Martin, which comes within the framework of the historic bilateral relations between the Kingdom and the United States. Sheikh Isa bin Salman affirmed Bahrain's pride in its international partnership in the fields of defense and security, through which the foundations of support and coordination are exchanged, underlining the common commitment to global security to contribute to the maintaining of the peace, pace of development and security. He also highlighted the importance of the fighter jets F-16V Block 70 purchase agreement signed during the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to Washington last year and the readiness of the Bahrain Royal Air Force. During the meeting, which was attended by the Minister of Defense Affairs, Yusuf bin Ahmed al Jalahma, Lockheed Martin's Vice President Rod McLean, U.S. Ambassador to the United States, Justin Sebril and the Commander-in-Chief of the Royal Air Force, Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, delivered speeches on the occasion. The Ministry of Transportation and Communication started implementing the second phase of the project for the development and modernization of automated landing systems. The Ministry signed a contract worth more than 930,200 Bahraini dinars with Paris Airfield Engineering Company for consulting works. This is part of a series of projects that the Ministry is working on order to develop the air navigation system in the Kingdom of Bahrain in accordance with the standards and requirements of the International Aviation Organization, ICAO. For this occasion, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Hamad, pointed out that the great technological development witnessed by the global aviation and airports authorities in recent years prompted them to search for the best modern technology available to deal with the difficult weather conditions. The Kingdom of Bahrain is one of the leading countries in the field of navigation services and air traffic control as it provides these services for more than 70 years and the Air Traffic Control Center is regarded as one of the most important centers in the Middle East. A press conference was held by the Bahrain Air Force Commander, Air Vice Marshal Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on the sideline of the Bahrain International Air Show in the presence of the Director of Defense Security Cooperation Agency, Charles Hooper, the CEO of Bell Company, Mitch Schneider, and the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, Justin Sebrel. The Kingdom of Bahrain announced the signing of a deal with the American Bell Company to buy 12 AH-1Z helicopters worth 912 million US dollars. 
Air Vice Marshal Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah noted that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa signed the deal coinciding with the air show. He stated that this type of planes is considered the latest and most advanced in the world and represents an important addition to Bahrain Air Force. He added that the contract includes training and logistic services. He affirmed the importance of holding Bahrain International Air Show to provide an opportunity for companies to present the latest technologies in the field of aviation and air services. During Bahrain International Air Show, a contract worth 2,400,000 Bahrain Dinar was signed to construct a modern building for the Air Traffic Control Center between the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunication. Minister Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf stated that the Air Traffic Control Center project is one of the most important projects that the Ministry is keen on implementing for its importance and role in supporting air navigation operations. For his part, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication stated that the new center will be one of the most modern air traffic control centers in the region and will meet the engineering and technical standards necessary to provide an appropriate working environment for air traffic controllers and all the modern factors to provide remarkable services for airline companies and aircraft operators that use Bahrain for aviation information. The fifth edition of the Bahrain International Air Show witnessed trade deals worth billions of dollars between key players in the global air industry. Hamad Chaban reports from the Sakhir Airbase. Much like its predecessors, the 5th Bahrain International Air Show proved a complete success for business and trade in the aerospace industry. Developed as an intimate gathering for senior regional and international players, the air show proved an excellent opportunity for ventures to meet and showcase their services and products. Well, I mean, this is a great event for us. So this is the fourth time we've participated at the air show. So this is really, as a Bahraini airline, this is an opportunity for us to showcase our brand. Um, over the three days, we've had over 100 customers in town. Uh, just sharing views and opinions, network development, route line development. So this is uh, the best opportunity to get everyone together all under one roof to say. Several million and billion dollar deals were signed throughout the past three days. These include further investments in the kingdom's aerospace infrastructure by the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, including the construction of a new air traffic control center. Other deals include aircraft and engine orders by regional airlines, as well as defense and security deals and purchases by the Royal Bahraini Air Force. This afternoon we signed an agreement with Airbus uh, for the purchase of 10 firm uh, aeroplanes, NEO, uh, A320 NEO family aeroplanes and 10 options, so a total of 20 aeroplanes uh, worth about $2.1 billion in 2018 list prices. So, uh, we're very excited um, uh, to hear the announcement yesterday from the Royal Bahrain Air Force Commander of an acquisition of 12 H-1Z attack helicopters. This is a continuation of a long-standing relationship between Bell and Bahrain and it's just a continuation of how our relationship is here. The participation rate is up 35% with over 180 companies showcasing their products. This year's show has outdone its predecessors as Bahrain continues to prove itself a key player in the facilitation of regional and international trade. Another excellent platform that brings together key international players in the industry in the name of further strengthening business and trade relations. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News. The first Women in Aviation Forum was held today on the sideline of the Bahrain International Air Show. More details in this report with Shoghi Mohammed. The groundbreaking Women in Aviation Forum took place as part of the International Air Show under the theme championing the promotion, empowerment and advancement of women in the aviation and aerospace industries, both regionally and internationally. Delegates from around the world were invited to take part in the event, which encouraged collaboration with aviation industry officials. Today was overwhelming to me and uh, as an aviator, as a woman in aviation, to have all these ladies. I've been inspired uh, and uh, that even uh, make me feel like the aviation fields are really going to where we are all as an aviator female go, uh, I mean, uh, want, uh, want it to be. Uh, and I'm sure there are a lot of uh, women out there now. Um, they're even more confident of their choice of being in aviation. Um, uh, I would like to thank uh, His Excellency. Uh, Kamal bin Ahmed, so to he, he's the initiative of this uh, um, conference. Upon seeing the success of the event, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, announced that the forum will become a staple of the air show and will continue to grow and expand. I was so proud of them and 
I was so touched and uh, very happy that they can relate, I can relate, they can understand what I went through and I do understand what they went through, all the difficulties, all the hardship, all the good uh, moments, all the difficult moments, so I was so, so proud of them. There is a lot of rooms uh, to be in the aviation field, such as uh, mechanics, engineers, ATC controller, dispatchers, you know, uh, marshallers, pilots, in the finance, lawyers and so on, and in the end of the day, we are all here to make the plane to fly from A to Z safely. Without each one's help, we cannot do this. So the aviation field is not only about female pilots, uh, it's about just showing you that there are so many um, ways for you to be part of the aviation field. Go there, ask, meet the girls from different um, aviation industries, learn uh, their experience, their challenges and how they overcame all uh, the boundaries and obstacles to uh, crack the shell and get out and achieve and uh, create a change in her country, her traditions, you know, and in the world. The Women in Aviation Conference will act as a beacon to the current generation of prospective female aviation industry professionals looking for inspiration, leadership and guidance from those already in the field. Reporting for Baha International, I'm Shogun Mohammed.